the, the boys have all drifted down and they look ready to go to me. I'm looking to my right ear, I see Damien Barrett. This is a man who regularly comes down to Hobart and tears it to shreds. <laughs> Hello to you, Pamela. Hello, Jim. Yeah, last time we were here, we had a uh, rather large Friday night, wasn't it, I think? Yes. When uh, North beat Richmond, I think, on that night to go 10-1 and one, and then that was about it for them for 2016, <laughs> Jim. Very nice to see you down here. It's also nice to see uh, Bristol, of course, in... Well, career best form, there's no doubt about that, and a man who likes to travel, and I get the sense likes coming to Hobart. Hello, Brian. Hello, uh, Jim. Very <laughs> You're good. You're having some headphones issues. Now, here. listen. You've got to talk up, Brian, <laughs> even though you can't hear yourself. Just about had enough. Uh, <laughs> I know you haven't introduced all of the team yet, but, uh, well, we haven't seen you today, JB. Uh, you're supposed to be our team leader, and uh, we departed once you left uh, Turek, and uh, I left Romsey. Haven't seen you since. Different carrier I go on, Bristol. Different carrier. That's it. Different hotel different ho- and different well, you're not team staying. meeting. You're Look, actually heading home. I'm staying. The three little pigs down here in uh, Bell Reef. We went down there for a coffee. No Jim down there. Nice. No duck yeah. down there. Duck's just pleasing himself today, staying at home. So, uh, yeah, right. it's been a wonderful well, day. Well, I so want you upbeat, Brian, because this is a big day, of well, course, and a magnificent Where's venue. V- venue and, but that is the biggest question we have, because Nate Brown, who's done a magnificent job, special comment Saturday afternoons, I, I understand, Nate, as I welcome you, that you won out today. I have one out, Jim, and it's been a good trip down here. We went down to the Three Little Pigs Cafe, uh, and there was a couple of other broadcasters in the back end, and uh, Brian's brought the, the lady over there that worked behind the counter, and he said, excuse me, can uh, you just set yeah. us up a table away from it. the competition up the other oh, room? We oh, don't want to sit next to them. The, the opposition. <laughs> uh, just uh, one other thing, uh, just in the... Uh, <laughs> Airport that I noticed. Yes, Brian. Yeah. So uh, we're You've got at a little whispering, Brian, going <laughs> yeah. here. So just, oh, what's he's going on with the microphone? Oh, he's game, is he? This <laughs> is uh, almost three KZ or three QZ, <laughs> <laughs> Brian. Anyway, we're in Tullamarine. Yeah. Yes. Um, a big John O'Brown was at Tullamarine. Nice. He's coming down for Fox today to yes. do the game, which is great news. <laughs> and um, little Nate Brown. Uh, the, so the two Browns are uh, together, and yes. uh, we're walking past the bar. We were in separate convoy to the two browns because they were a bit different to us yeah. and um we walked past a bar and a few gents out the front four or five gentlemen out the front having their first pot at nice. uh, oh. 6 a.m good and so they're on their way home to wherever they'd been um and uh one of them yelled out hey brownie <laughs> and of course you know you expect big Jono to look around but yeah, uh, Jono just kept uh, walking straight ahead and yes. Nate Brown turned around as if uh, it was, was him if they were him and the, they were very disappointed that big Jono didn't turn around Nate turned around and they went no mate no the oh. other oh, I thought they were Tiger supporters Brian didn't they understand the five on Jimmy Clement in a the quarter they didn't oh, yeah. and they didn't get Lots the humour about that OD either did Jimmy that day when I brought it up many many times or uh, the seven on one of the shoals well it was brought up last night that I kicked seven on Craig Shoals I'd like to point out to Beck Judd that I actually kicked seven on Bradshaw. And the little Knuckle Shoal, mm. who now lives... In three quarters. Nice segue, Bristol, because Knuckle Shoal lives with uh, our man, Wayne Carey. They, they share a house together. Well, I should but Knuckle actually lives in Duck's house. And um, which gets us to the... Where is he? Who? Wayne. A duck is at home today. Uh, and I, don't, I don't know why he's at home and not down here, but uh, he's not here. So well, we were disappointed. Got the he was on the TV last night. He was. He's on TV. He yeah. seemed to be well and not uh, not at all, you know, looking ill. Right. So uh, as far as I know, he's ready to go. But uh, flights were booked. W. Carey on yeah. Qantas was booked. So Bristol, has yeah. he uh, very quickly slipped in with Chris Judd into the oh, I'm not travelling anywhere sort of category? Yeah, well, it's a bit uh, the category that you're in, Jay. Bro- I'm here, Brian. <laughs> You've travelled, but only because North are playing. <laughs> Bristol, I am a traveller. If this Jim, was Melbourne well, Cup, you, you wouldn't tra- be here. I am a traveller. Jim, why didn't you want to travel with us today, though? It was because all set I, up. Again, you were on the email, too. Same. I travel on Virgin Purple, you know that. And uh, I, very nice it was, too. So down I came on a separate carrier and got the car out to the lovely hotel. Hotel and then I was first here. Right. I had a bit of an issue, Brian. Yeah. I tried to get down to the north rooms. I had to very quickly see someone. It was going to take a second. So I said to some of the great staff that help us here with Triple M, how do I get down to the ground? And he sort of pointed out the right way to do it, which was to go down so the back and I then through the bottom. I can when I but, talk. Uh, I right, can't hear that's, now. that's you there. <laughs> oh. You're hitting the wrong button. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Look at Brian. <laughs> He's all over the place. <laughs> Now he's off. <laughs> he's taken off, Bristol. Um, so uh, what happened, Nafe, is I then saw the coach's box, which is just about two boxes down here. Not a person in the ground, by the way. There would have been eight people here, I reckon. So I thought, bugger it, instead of going down the back and finding my way through the back, I'll just go down through the coach's box. I'm the former and, chairman. And, and, well, exactly right. Yeah. And walk down the bloody stairs and then just hook into our rooms. A minute later, I'm back up. Anyway, as I'm uh, doing it, the bloke behind the jump with the security top on gives it the... Brayshaw. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you're in the media now, aren't you? I said, uh, <laughs> now. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but like the thing you well, I always actually was, but yes, I am. He goes, um, yeah. Not allowed to come through here. <laughs> <laughs> So your response? Get out of my way. <laughs> yes, said, yeah. Come on. Yeah. It's going to take me two seconds. I've got to quickly see someone and I'm back up again. But I'll, whenever anyone starts a sentence with your surname, Purple, uh, you, ne- you know the conversation is not going to go well. He's advanced it before it starts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I get the feeling this is a fractured team, though. Friday well, night footy, the Friday this huddle. We, uh, now, we Bristol's, all went out he's, together. <laughs> Bristol's roaming back. Bristol's got a roaming back on. Mike. Got the handheld mic here. And, uh, what are you doing, Brian? <laughs> the rabbit's ears. So this is going well. <laughs> I'm really uh, encouraged to uh, go on with my work here. Uh, <laughs> What's going on, Brian? Are you having some technical issues? The technical issues, but more importantly, the issues with the Triple M footy team. Now, right, we, we're, we're sensing that your team on a Friday night, Nath, and Damo, is, very solid. they're having we're too very many uh, social activities. Dinners. Like dinner with the wives and girlfriends. Dinners. And dinners and wives and girlfriends. That's never happened in Triple M <laughs> footy history, so that's obviously a Juddy and uh, Nath Brown influence, I would have yes. thought. This is, uh, and what it's done is it's fractured the Saturday team. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's sent us off shockwave style, and uh, none of us quite know what we should do. I'm wondering whether I should call an emergency meeting on Monday of, yes. of everyone, whether... <laughs> Anyone, Anyone would to actually turn up? Turn up. <laughs> <laughs> so whether the emergency meeting is the right way to go, I'm just uh, not sure yet. But anyway, I'm holding the antenna and the microphone. Do you think we need to do phone. something, though, BT? Because there has been an, been an uneasiness, fractured. I reckon, for a good six or eight weeks. Yeah, it has. It's been yeah. fractured. I'm not sure, Damo, whether it's you... Uh, just deciding which one you're going to go with because you. No, I'm all in a on bit both. Because you have been with us for ten years, and now I yep. think you're feeling that Friday's a bit sexy, <laughs> oh, yeah. and uh, you might no, just no, no, uh, no, no, even no, though Bristol latch onto a couple of <laughs> modern trendies. <laughs> even though Bristol, like, and I'm agreeing with you by the way, I yeah. think you're absolutely might be right smack onto something. Oh. But if you look at. Uh, 10 plus, I'd be staying with Saturday if I were you, uh, Purple, because yeah. uh, there's only one of our shifts that's all people listening dominant, and that is well, the one you're attached to see, right now. And see, this right. is what I'm so talking stay about. stay where you are. This is what I mean. I'm not talking your about going anywhere, Jim. And Duck this is my worry. Where is he? This is a man who's Let's have a guess at what he would be doing today. Is, yeah. there a, is there anyone has it a guess at what he might get up to this afternoon? This is what I mean by a fractured team. We're even fracturing <laughs> against each other. But, uh, right. well, Duck today, let's face it. Where is he? He's, uh, he's a single uh, operator and uh, it's got to do with a, a girl I believe saying, there's no babysitting going on today uh, <laughs> so uh, I'm not sure where he whether he's gone to the cinema the big babysitting or uh, whether he's uh, off down to uh, Dimitina's in Ligon Street <laughs> oh, or oh, just it's pitch Crowbar the restaurant <laughs> <laughs> oh I don't know how have you done I, that it's the only one I could think of <laughs> um, but, you know no, I think or, he's going to get takeaway is he? Yeah. in. Anyway, he's, uh, he's very strange, the arrangement he's got. <laughs> and uh, with Triple M, I mean. You sound like you know more than you're letting on here. Well, Rod. I'm just sick of it. Uh, you know, I've had enough. I've come down to Hobart here today and I want to be here. That's it? Yep. As you can see. <laughs> <laughs> with the technical problems you're having, Brian? Yeah, anyway. So, uh, who's playing? North we'll get to playing that. Melbourne. North and Melbourne. <laughs>